Hello, everyone. I pray today that you know and understand what Jesus has done for you, what Jesus has done for me, and his resurrecting from the dead. Can you imagine that day when the ladies run to the tomb early Sunday morning and they try to find the body? They want to just go and grieve. Yet instead, they run home and find out. They run to the tomb and find out that Jesus is already resurrected. They come and the stone is rolled away. Two of the disciples, Peter and John, go racing to the tomb. They find out that Jesus has resurrected from the dead. Can you imagine the joy of that day? Because Friday you were in pain. Now you were rejoicing. Now you're trying to find him. Can I just touch him? One of the things that we all want when one of our loved ones has passed on. Once the, we have been told they have died, then there's the funeral, the burial. Then there's something you really want to do. You just want to hold them. One last hug, one last caress, one lingering touch. Yet, now we know that Jesus has arisen from the dead. Can you imagine the ladies, when they finally get to see Jesus face to face, the joy in their hearts? Can you imagine Peter and John and the other disciples, the joy in their hearts when they finally see him face to face and touch him. We beat up on poor Thomas. We do. When Jesus says, I just let me put my hand, my hand where the holes are. What he's really saying is, let me touch him. Because that's what we all want to do. I believe Thomas is just grieving differently because Thomas has not yet seen Jesus. But when he does, the majesty of the moment, when he just says, my Lord, my God, because it is real to him at that point. It is real to each of us at that point when we touch Jesus, when Jesus touches us. It is real. And so today we come to another him. This one is a spiritual. And the idea of this spiritual is that he arose. And it just reminds us and walks us through the story. But as it walks us through the story, it reminds us again that Jesus rose and has gone to glory. And there's a reason for that. Here's our hymn. This, the arrangement is by Philip V.S. Lindsay. Because remember, most spirituals were just some until finally they're written down and you have different arrangements of them. But this one reads this way. They crucified my Savior. They crucified my Savior. They crucified my Savior and nailed him to the cross. But here's the joy. He rose. He rose. He rose from the dead. He rose. He rose. He rose from the dead. And the Lord shall bear my spirit home. He arose. It goes on. Jesus rose. Hallelujah. Jesus rose. Hallelujah. Jesus rose and gone to heaven on the cloud. And Joseph begged for his body. Joseph bade, begged for his body and laid it in the tomb. But Jesus rose, Jesus rose, Jesus rose from the dead. And the Lord shall bear my spirit home. He arose, hallelujah, Jesus arose and has gone to heaven on a cloud. The cold grave could not hold him. The cold grave could not hold him. The cold grave could not hold him, nor death's iron hand, because he arose he arose, he arose from the dead. Jesus arose from the dead and the Lord shall bear my spirit home. 
he arose. Jesus arose. Hallelujah. Jesus arose and has gone to heaven in the cloud. The angels came from heaven. The angels came from heaven. The angels came from heaven and rolled the stone away. Jesus arose. He arose. He arose from the dead. And the Lord shall bear my spirit home. He arose. Jesus arose. Hallelujah. Jesus arose. And has gone to heaven on a cloud. Now, many of us would say that's repetitious. Yes, it is. But understand, it's like many of our modern worship songs. It repeats the same thing because it wants to get the point home. They crucified Jesus. They crucified him. Nailed him to a cross. Joseph put his body in the tomb. Je Joseph begged for his body. Yet he arose. The angels came and rolled the stone away. He arose from the dead. And that's the whole point here. Jesus arose from the dead. When Jesus arose from the dead, a lot of things happened for us. All good things. Our hymn. Our spiritual mentions but two. He arose from the dead, which then means you and I get to go home with him. Remember, Jesus says, I go to prepare a mansion for you. I'm sorry, he says, in my father's house are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you. I will come and meet you. Jesus arose that you and I may get our home in heaven. The second one is, he will bear my spirit home, which means that when we die, he just takes our spirit home with him. Because we don't die. We're like Lazarus, as Jesus says. He's fallen asleep. And I'm going to wake him up. And there's that day when Jesus will wake each and every one of us up. The cold grave couldn't hold him. Death's iron hand couldn't hold him. The cold grave can't hold you either. The cold grave can't hold me either. Iron, that's iron grip. No, his icy grip, no. Why? Because Jesus says, I am the resurrected Savior. You will resurrect with me. Paul helps us here so well. He says, we lay down this mortal to take up immortality. Why? Because our souls are immortal. We have been created to live with God forever. We have been created to live forever. With God or without God. Heaven or hell. We bear our spirit home. Where's home? The line helps us here. Jesus rose. Hallelujah. Jesus rose. Gone to glory. Jesus rose. Gone to heaven on a cloud. Where's home? Heaven. Where's home? Glory. It is Jesus bearing us up, taking us with him. Why? The song says it so well. He arose. He arose. Hallelujah. Jesus rose. Jesus rose from the grave for you and I. No matter how we sing it, no matter how we look at it, we serve a risen Savior. Paul helps us here. He just says, this is the gospel we proclaim. That just as the scripture says, he was died, buried, and rose again. My friends, this week, this Easter week, live in the resurrected power, the resurrection power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Because he has arisen. He arose and has gone to heaven and waits for us there till he comes back. Lord, we bless you and thank you that death's iron grip could not hold you, the cold grave could not hold you, but that you rose and we get to live with you because of your resurrection. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Be blessed today, my dear friends.